The moment I met Connecticut State Trooper Jose Campos, I knew there was something off about him. What I didn't know were the allegations of sexual assault and that he was arrested for computer crimes. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. So today is a very special video. We're going to be reporting on some information that was sent to me regarding Connecticut State Trooper Jose Campos. If you do not remember him, he was actually featured in one of my audits. It was a very strange interaction. We're going to be getting to that interaction as well as the sexual assault allegations that were levied against him. But first and foremost, he has been arrested for computer crimes. Let's take a look at that. Trooper is now under arrest, accused of using a state police computer system to run a license plate for non-law enforcement purposes. We can tell you that Trooper had also been investigated point for sexual assault, but that case was later dropped. NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin joining us live in Hartford with more details. Matt. Yeah, so Mike and Keisha, we're told that Trooper was officially arrested here at Troop H earlier today. He has been fully suspended with pay. Jose Campos is now facing a charge of computer crimes, third degree. He posted a $10,000 bond and is due in court in Waterbury in a month. In an arrest warrant, the 30-year-old is accused of using a state criminal justice system to look up the license plate of a woman he was in a relationship with. The woman told investigators that Campos was jealous and he allegedly told her, he would run the play of the car she was driving to see if it belonged to another man. Detectives say a check found Campos did search the system while he was off duty and did it for an unauthorized reason. State police say an internal affairs investigation was started and a referral was made for a potential decertification. In a separate investigation last summer, allegations against Campos were also raised of sexual assault claims. Today, state police say other cases have now been closed and the state's attorney declined to prosecute because of a lack of probable cause. Campos has been with state police for three years and had been assigned to troops in North Canaan and Bridgeport. State police and the union declining comment. Live this afternoon in Hartford, Matt Austin, NBC Connecticut News. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you just saw, we're going to get into a video that's reporting on his sexual assault allegations, but he is still being paid taxpayer funded money. Till this day, he is receiving a taxpayer funded check, if you can believe it. It's absolutely disgusting. You know, allegations of sexual assault. Now he's been arrested for computer crimes, and yet he still receives his taxpayer funded check. It just, where's the accountability? You know, I, I think about the the contrast between this and Sergeant Brian Fahey. We all know Sergeant Brian Fahey is uh, the uh, Connecticut State Police, the Special Licensing and Firearms. And would you believe it, the reason why I spoke with Jose Campos in a previous follow-up audit is because he works directly for, or worked at this point, he worked directly for Sergeant Brian Fahey, Special Licensing and Firearms Division. That's where he worked this unhinged individual so again we're going to get into our interaction and so you could see that again because it was absolutely bizarre and now with this kind of context of his character or what is allegedly his character you know it, it brings everything into light because that was one strange individual and, and it's it's absolutely shocking so let's take a look at this video. What this investigation is all about, state police say that they were called to this home on Oldfield Road around 1.30 this morning for accusations of sexual assault made against a Connecticut state police trooper. Now, there is still a very active scene here behind me. Major Crimes is on scene. And again, they have been here since about 1.30 this morning. Uh, police say that someone at this home made allegations against Jose Campos, who is a Connecticut state trooper, and that prompted a sexual assault investigation. Now, these allegations are being investigated again by the major crime squad, and Campos has been suspended pending the outcome of this investigation. His police powers have also been revoked. So we have learned what exactly has been going on at this home again on Old Field Road here in Southbury. We are going to continue to follow this closely and any new details that we learn here, we will pass along to you. We're going to stay on scene here, as you can see, still a very active investigation at this point. Live in Southbury. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I fully believe that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. But when it comes to law enforcement officers, it's a little bit different because they're not often given 
you know, a trial. They're, they're often let off early, right? They don't get charged with anything. For example, the sexual assault allegations that were made against Trooper Jose Campos, the state's attorney found that there wasn't enough probable cause. Did you not see the response at his home right there in that news article? There was about six law enforcement officer vehicles. There was um, a major crimes van there. So they took it very seriously at the time, but there wasn't enough probable cause. So, you know, I can I can only take the Connecticut State Police with, you know, their words and, you know, for the grain of salt, because as we've seen, Sergeant Brian Fahey grabbed my shirt in order to prevent me from falling backwards. He didn't break my phone. He placed it in a bed of mulch. He thought it was a taser through his training and experience, and he committed no wrongdoing. So the Connecticut and the now when he did when he took my phone for the second time and he assaulted me again with the door violently like the unhinged maniac that he is it takes five months to investigate we just did a follow-up video you can go check that out in the description but it takes five months for internal affairs to investigate a three-minute incident where there's body camera first first-hand footage and security camera footage it makes no sense the cover-up is in the fix is in in for Sergeant Brian Fahey. He's telling people in his email that he's getting promoted. So it's kind of hard for me to believe that Sergeant, that, excuse me, State Trooper Jose Campos is completely innocent of any wrongdoing here because the mainstream media, no one wants to cover it. The local media sometimes will cover it one time. And where is the follow up on the sexual assault allegations? We need follow up on that. We need some follow up on the sexual assault allegations. So I'm going to take it upon myself to investigate that. I'm going to reach out to as many people as I can submit FOIA requests for all the documentation, and then let's, we the people, be the judge if there was enough evidence to be to, for him to be prosecuted on that serious charge. Because he was charged on com computer crimes. This man was logging in with his official um, Connecticut State Police username, and he was looking up his girlfriend in all of her cars. I don't know why she has so many cars, but, you know, he's looking up all of her cars. He's, he's basically using the Connecticut State, allegedly using the Connecticut State Police um computer system in order to stalk his girlfriend that's what's really going on here so they kind of go hand in hand the two allegations made against him this one he was arrested for um again suspended fully suspended but he's still getting a taxpayer funded paycheck so it's definitely something that we got to look into i'm going to be going to um his court dates and reporting from there i'm going to request the judge uh permission to record his proceedings. So, you know, we're going to do a lot more than the mainstream media does. We're going to want to follow up. We're going to try and get some accountability here, bring some transparency into this because we all know the Connecticut State Police, they have a right, they have so many scandals, the ticket scandal, Sergeant Brian Fahey, so many different scandals in the Corrupticut State Police Department. They don't call it Corrupticut for, for no reason. It's a very corrupt state. So we're going to try and hold them accountable and, and some promote some transparency there. So really quickly, before we watch the interaction between uh, myself and Jose Campos, because I'm sure you guys are going to love it, really quick, I also just wanted to bring this up. Attorney Shield. Some of you have heard of it. And for those of you who have heard of it, just bear with me. For those of you who signed up, I really appreciate it. So I just wanted to, there was a little bit of controversy here. You know, I've been, I've had my YouTube channel for three years now. And in those three years, I've been offered many sponsorships, you know, whether it be headphones or flashlights, you know, fruit drinks, whatever the case may be. There was a lot of products that, you know, advertisers said, hey, can you advertise this for 60 seconds on one of your videos? And we'll give you thousands and thousands of dollars. I always refused because I didn't think it brought my viewership any value so what's important to me is and a lot of you watch these videos for entertainment value like this video probably won't get a lot of likes and a lot of shares but you know a lot of people like to see drama in the audits and you know i'm not a drama type of guy i don't like to start any drama but i, I people start drama with me unfortunately so there are those videos and there are people that want to just watch video audits and these video and my videos for entertainment purposes but i know so many of you out there are like me are tired we are tired of the civil rights violations. I can talk about civil rights violations till I'm 60 years old and even beyond that. You know, I've my, my rights violated. I've been arrested nine times unlawfully with zero criminal convictions in all of those arrests. I've had judges recuse themselves. I've had asset forfeiture uh, funds that they won't release the documents. I've been almost ran off the road. You name it, it's happened to me and I'm tired of it happening to me. And if it could happen to me, it can happen to any one of you because I have a platform and I have so many supporters, so many free men and women out there that support me and I truly appreciate them. But if we're not going to try and solve the problem, if all you want to do is hear me talk about, 
you know, people having their rights violated and my rights being violated without any sort of solution, that's going to become a problem because we need to have some sort of solution. Lackluster and I and every other First Amendment auditor out, out there and, you know, any other reporter, independent journalist, we can talk about these rights violations all day long, but we need to do something about it. And that's where Attorney Shield comes into play because I truly, as an owner of Attorney Shield, I'm a co-owner with Lackluster and other partners that we have. Very smart guys. We are trying to fundamentally change the way policing is hap happens in America. If everybody had attorney shield on their phone, they'd be able to protect themselves. Not only does it give you an attorney to represent you and you can remain silent, exercise your fifth amendment right to remain silent, it gives you an attorney in less than 30 seconds with the tap of a button. It lets your emergency contact know exactly where you are. It starts recording and sending that recording to a secure cloud server. The officer or whoever you're dealing with will not be able to turn off the application without a secure pin. These are all things that we've thought about to keep police accountable and to make sure that that recording, so many people come up to me and they say, well, Sean, you know, this happened to me. My rights were violated and they send me these emails and I can't get to every single one. But a lot of the time there's no video. This reminds you, make sure you always record the police. Always. Again, not all officers are bad. I'm not anti-law enforcement. And I've talked to my law enforcement friends and they love the attorney shield idea. So if you, if you want to learn more, there's links in the description. I'm not going to talk about it forever. But again, this is not a product. This is something I believe in. This is my company. This is something that I truly believe will change policing in America and help millions of people across the country. But I need your help. If you want to sign up early, the, we have a nationwide launch in Feb, quarter one of next year, February or March. If you'd like to sign up early and lock in your less than $5 a month, less than $5 a month. I've had many attorneys, ladies and gentlemen, and you cannot get an attorney 24-7 for less than $5 a month, let alone all the other features it comes with. So if you please check out the description, let's change policing in America together. All right. That being said, I appreciate your time listening and hear me out on that. Let's watch this video. This is mostly like him. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm waiting to speak to somebody. Pretty good foot shot. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe on the way out. Maybe on the way out. How's everything going with you, man? Everything's going good. Are you recording? Yeah. Taking pictures and video. Independent journalist. When did you start doing that? When did I start? Yeah. Two and a half years ago. Yeah, I've been exposing a lot of corrupt law enforcement for officers. For school for journalists? No, 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 I didn't. I, I just been exposing a lot of corrupt law enforcement across the country, and I actually work with police departments and trainings. Nice. They invite me in to do trainings That's at the sweet. department. When did they start doing that? Yeah. Um, Last year, and I just got invited to another one. I just did one in North Bergen, New Jersey. So, trying to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the public. Yeah. What in your in your line of work? You're a law enforcement officer. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with transparency, right? Well, I work here, not a law enforcement officer, but I work here, so I'm an auditor. Are you, oh, you got are you expecting for me to say something? I'm not going to say anything to you. No, I'm not. Ex I mean, your I, face I was. Says that, though. A lot of I was. Can't see your face behind the camera. Oh yeah, no, I was just a little concerned because you said no. you were a law enforcement officer and then you said you weren't. So it, I said that's... I work at a law enforcement. Building. No, I said are you a law enforcement officer and your answer was yes. So I kind of. You said are you in law enforcement? Well, I'm in a building. I said you're. Law okay, we'll we'll run it back. That, you're a law enforcement officer. That's why I record transparency. But that's that's why my face was like, wow, did this guy just commit a crime in front of my face? Well, by pretending to be a law enforcement officer? That's why I was a little shocked. I couldn't believe it for a minute. But no, I, I don't want you to say anything mean to me. I'd like to have a polite, cordial conversation no, with you. Like, this. Uh, like you're ready to get me to do something. I was ready to get you to do something? Yeah, like you're waiting for my response or something. Oh. That's what I was just asking. Can oh, ask, no. I can ask you a question, right? Of course. I'll, you I'll can ask me whatever you want. Question, no, you can ask me whatever you want, sir. You mind if I get your name? Who's that? Jose. And do you have a badge number, Jose? No, because you're not law enforcement, right? You got me. Do you have a uh, ID number? Uh, I don't feel comfortable giving that out. You don't feel comfortable giving out your ID number? Just what department? In line, man. What department do you work? I mean, you you struck up a conversation with me. What department do you work no, in? No, because I asked you if you were mine. I yeah. said, are you getting anything? Remember that? Yeah. And then you started. Do you, and then I said, are you recording? What, what you department do you work for, Jose? For the DSPP. DESPP. Legal. No, not legal. Not legal. Not legal. But what department? Do you know what DESPP? Department of Emergency. You got it. Almost. There you go. So what department? What, what department do you work for, Jose? For the state police. No, but what department inside? What? What department? I don't think I have to give you that. 
You Except don't? For my A &M. Okay. You, I mean, that remains to be seen. That's it. You'll find out. I'm being aggressive. I'm asking you all these questions. I'm trying to ask if you went to school. For, I went to school for journalism. Yeah. That's what I was going to tell you. I like all that. Yeah. But, but then you're just like asking me a million questions about where I work at and all that. I'm trying to talk to you, brother. It's just, it's, I can't, you can ask me questions. I can't ask you questions, sir. I said you could. I answered every question. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I was just saying, I just wanted to talk. I don't think I was being aggressive, Jose. Really, I wasn't. It's all on who's on the other side, right? I don't think I was being aggressive. I'm just telling you how I feel. Anything else but how I feel, right, brother? You can feel however you want. Do you know Sergeant Brian Fahey? Do you know who that is, Sergeant Brian Fahey? Can you spell that? Sergeant Brian Fahey? Your accent, I can't understand. How do you spell Fahey? Fahey? Yeah, Fahey. Fahey? Fahey. F A H E Y. Fahey. You spell it, you spell it as it sounds. There's a couple Fahey's here. Yeah, there are. He's the uh, supervisor, a sergeant for the uh, pistol permits. Why are you yelling at that? Why are you yelling in my ear, dude? I turned around. I'm not yelling in your ear. You just screamed in my ear, bro. Stop. I'm nowhere near you. You're telling me that he's the sergeant. Sergeant, or yeah. I've already turned around. Oh, okay. Hey, man, you don't have to be so aggressive. Relax. I'm just having a conversation with you. Um, I'm waiting. Oh, oh. I was like, yeah, are you waiting as well? No, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're up, Jose. No, I'm waiting, sir. I know. I think you're up to order food. I, I got it all set. Okay, I think I just think it's your turn. That's all. Thank you. Okay. I, I gotta wait for my food, man. Oh. Wait, it's gotta be cooked. Just please stop. I'll see what you ordered. I did whatever I had to do, man. Please stop bothering me. I'm not bothering you. I'm turning around. You, you're, pointing you a, you're pointing at thing. And you're asking me, "Am I ready?" I'm just my food, man. Please don't don't, don't cut this out. No don't one's. Why out. would I cut it out? It shows. It's. Me. Why would I cut it out? It shows how unreasonable you are. Why would I cut it out? Because I'm just. You're telling me that I'm up. Here. I'm just trying to help I you. Wait for my food, right? I was just trying to help you. Please. Just trying to help you. Please. I thought you were. I thought you needed to order because you said you wanted to know if I was in line. You wanted to know if I was in line, so you're I. I think. If this is the line for waiting. For you. Uh, I think they give you a buzzer, Jose. I think that's how it works. I think I know. How it works. Okay. <laughs> It's going great. Let's turn this back around. Let's yeah, it's going great. Beautiful day. Positive energy only. That's funny. Interesting. You're not, you're not okay with negative energy. You're not okay with what? Negative energy? We gotta love each other. Yeah, we gotta bridge the gap, right? Between law enforcement and the public. You're doing that by teaching people different things. Yeah. Transparency. It's important. Transparency and accountability. No one's messing with I didn't even want to talk to you, Jose. You talk to me. <laughs> Jose, I think this food is good. Are you gonna support? I think of course, why not? Sure, why not? I just, I got I got business to do first. I'm not on lunch yet. I got I got business to hand. I got business to handle. I'm here on official business. I'm here on official business. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there you have it. There's Jose Campos, Connecticut State Trooper. So I thought about it, you know, our weird conversation, that awkward, you know, he said I was aggressive. I don't think I was aggressive. He stroke up a conversation with me. I didn't, you know, in engage him in any way. I was there for Sergeant Brian Fahey. Uh, but now, after knowing what we know is that, you know, he was accused of sexual assault. Um, which the state's attorney and Connecticut State Police dropped because of lack of evidence. But we're going to look into that ourselves. We're going to talk to the witnesses. We're going to FOIA request all the documentation. You know, I don't trust the Connecticut State Police. It's not called Corrupticate, you know, for no reason. It's corrupt over there in Connecticut. So you live in Connecticut. You know what I'm talking about. If you've seen the Danbury, Waterbury, the Connecticut State Police series on my channel, you know what I'm talking about. So we're going to look into the sexual assault allegations ourselves, do a little investigating. We're not real journalists, right? But, you know, we can do some investigating and see what's going on there. And then I will be going to all of his court dates regarding this computer crimes where he's allegedly stalking his current girlfriend or friend, whoever it is, you know, based on using... Connecticut State Police computers to do so. So at the end of the day, what I really want from everybody, if you can please take a second, hit the like button, share this video. It needs to be seen by as many people as possible and stay tuned for any follow-up videos. You know, 
he said he wasn't in law enforcement and then he said he was in law enforcement and then he said he wasn't in law enforcement. So I was a little confused, but after some investigating, I found out that he was on administrative leave. So he technically wasn't a law enforcement officer when I was speaking to him. He was in, on administrative leave working directly for Sergeant Brian Fahey. So what it looks like to me is that everybody who, every Connecticut State Police officer who gets themselves into trouble or is a loose cannon or a danger to society, they get transferred to the Special Licensing and Firearms um, Bureau, right, where they can work for Sergeant Brian Fahey, the ruler of all tyrants um, and unhinged law enforcement officers. So stay tuned for updates on Sergeant Fahey. He's going to be served with a federal lawsuit soon. Um, stay tuned for updates on Jose Campos. You know, my camera is really good at finding tyrants and corrupt government officials. I don't know how. Either there's so many or I'm very lucky. But we're going to look into it. So stay tuned for both of those. Attorney Shield right behind me if you'd like to. It's my company. If you'd like to find out more, links are in the description. Let's give the power back into the hands of we the people. The government's had the power for way too long. I'm going to be getting involved in my local politics here and talking to legislators and doing everything I can to affect change in a more meaningful way. We've done it in the NYPD. We beat the NYPD. It's going through the appeals process right now. We're suing Berwyn. There's so many things that we've accomplished in the last three years, and I couldn't have done it without each and every single one of you. So I just want to let you know that I truly appreciate that. It means the absolute world to me. But without further ado, I don't have anything else to say, but I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.